Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Power BI on Windows 11 operating system. Open any browser then go to the official website that is powerbi.microsoft.com Click on products then click on Power BI then select the Power BI desktop. Here we have two options, one download free and under C downloader language options. So click on this C downloader language options. It has opened new tab. See default it has selected English, but you can change any of the available language for your choice. So click on download. Select the 64 bit and its size is 461 megabytes. Then click on download. See, download has been started. Click on downloads. Go to download history. Wait until download completes. See, download has been completed successfully. Now click on this exe file, that is the executable file. Select the language from the list. Select English, then click on next. Click on next. Accept the license agreement and click on next. Select the destination. It is going to copy all Power BI files to files to this location if you want to change you have to click on this change then select the path i am okay with this default location then click on next if you want to create desktop shortcut you have to keep the checkbox as as it is otherwise uncheck it i am not going to uncheck it click on install See, Power BI has been installed successfully. If you want to launch Power BI desktop, you have to check the checkbox and click on finish. Otherwise, uncheck it and manually open by going to start. Then check for the Power BI. So keep as it is and click on finish. Then it will open Power BI, Power BI desktop application. Close this get started window. Close this. See, this is the Power BI desktop. This is unsaved. Click on file, then click on save. Then click on more options, then select the path, browse this device, then select the path. C drive, then provide the name. Okay. If you want to get data, click on this get data, then select SQL Server or text or CSV. Here we can see only SQL Server. If you want to get MySQL or Oracle or PostgreSQL or any other database, you have to click on this more. See here, SQL Server database, MySQL database, IBM DB2, Oracle database and others like Sybase, Terab data, PostgreSQL, SAP HANA and many more. You have to, suppose if you want to get data from PostgreSQL, you have to click on this database and click on connect. Then here we have to provide the server name and database name. Then in advanced options we have to provide the SQL statements. Okay. Like this we have to connect to the database. Then here we have the different types of visualization options. If you want to take this bar chart you have to click on this one. 
see it has come now we can drag anywhere suppose if you want pie chart we have to just click on it then drag anywhere you want like this we can okay if you want to remove this one then click on this button and remove otherwise select it and press delete from your keyboard it's gone like this we can do we can see many more options in the upcoming videos so in this video we have seen how to download and install power bi desktop on windows 11 operating system